Here is a model of the renal corpuscle, which illustrates the capsule. The capsule is surrounding a tuft of capillaries, and the capsule has an outer and an inner wall. And this capsule is what is referred to as the renal capsule, or it's also known as Bowman's capsule. Now, if you take a closer look at the wall, the outer wall of the capsule consists of a single layer of simple squamous cells, although they don't look simple squamous in this model. And the inner layer is directly on the surface of the capillaries within the capsule. And you can see this, the cells of the inner layer right over here. This is a highly specialized lining because these cells are special cells. These are called podocytes. The podocytes are going to form a filtering device that is going to enable a filtrate to exit the capillaries and go into this capsular space. And the way the filtrate is going to leave the capillaries is partially going to be due to the fact that the edges of these podocytes are interdigitating with one another. So these squiggly lines that you can see represent the boundaries between neighboring podocytes. And the space between these extensions of the cell, which are referred to as pedicels, are going to form the filtration slits through which the filtrate is going to exit from the capillaries and then enter into the capsular space. If we now consider the capillaries themselves, the capillaries are referred to as the glomerulus. And so all these capillaries here that are interweaving with one another form part of the glomerulus. Now in this model, what is done is that the lining, which is over here, the inner lining of the capsule, has been removed from these capillaries over here so that you can better see these capillaries. So remember that this is an artificial way of showing you the capillaries by themselves. And in actuality, all these capillaries would be lined by these podocytes, which you see right over here. Now, if you take a closer look at the capillaries, you can see that the wall of the capillaries have these openings, these pores, which are going to contribute to the filtering device. So the filtrate as it's formed is first going to go leave the capillaries through these pores. These capillaries are referred to as being fenestrated because they have these pores that allow for fluid and solutes to more readily leave the capillaries.